Hello and welcome to this 30 day yoga challenge. This challenge is designed for anyone who wants to get into the habit of practicing yoga every single day. It is for all levels, so it really doesn't matter if you're just new to yoga or you're a little bit more advanced. You also won't need any props for this class, so it's perfect if you just have a mat or even if you don't. When you're ready, find a comfortable seat. We'll start there. And take a few moments just to lengthen your spine, sit up tall. Rest your hands on your knees, soften the eyes closed. Taking these next few moments to land. Deepen your breath. Relax your shoulders. And let go of anything that came before you stepped on the mat. Keeping the eyes closed here, tilt your head to the left. So you find a stretch down the right side of the neck. Hold it here a few breaths. Let your head get heavy, drawing closer to the left shoulder. And lift your head back up and tilt to the right shoulder. Lengthening the left side of the neck. Let your head get a little heavier as you settle into a deeper breath. Good, and lift the head back up. And lift your chin towards the ceiling. Let your head tilt back. Then bring your chin in towards your chest. Lengthen the back of the neck. Lift your head into a neutral position and you can flicker the eyes open. Lift your shoulders up by your ears. Inhale. And as you exhale, roll them down the back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll them down. A few more times like this. You can go at the pace of your own breath. Last one. Exhale. Good. Rest your left hand by your side. Reach the right arm up and over. Bend to the left side. You can let your head hang heavy towards your left shoulder. Keep reaching through the right arm. Hold for an inhale and an exhale. Windmill the arms, come up and over to the right side, reaching the left arm up and over. Let your head hang heavy towards the right side. Beautiful, inhale, come all the way up. Then come into a hands and knees position. Set your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. And as you inhale, lower the belly, arch the spine, gaze forwards. As you exhale, round the back, push the floor away. Inhale, arch, find a back bend. Exhale, round, bring chin to chest. A few more like this. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And finding a neutral spine. 
Extend your right leg back and lift the leg. Then reach your left arm forwards, holding it here, five breaths. Keep your breath steady as you hold the balance. Lifting the arm, lifting the leg. Good. Keep the leg lifted, but lower your left hand. Then turn your body to the right side to stack right hip on top of left. Reach your right arm up. Keep the right leg lifting as high as your hips. Start to draw your low belly in. Activate your abdominals. Hold it here. Good, stay as you are, but lower the right foot down and reach your right arm overhead, coming to a side body stretch. Breathing deeply, lifting the right side of the rib cage up. Good, lower the right hand down, turn to face forwards and lift your right leg again. This time, sweep the leg out towards your right side. Bring the foot as far forwards as you can. Lower the foot to the mat. And then you can heel toe the foot in between the hands. Bend the knee on top of the ankle. Reach your arms up for a low lunge. Inhale here. And exhale here. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Lower your hands to the mat. Shuffle your front foot forward so that you can straighten the leg. And then flex the foot. Fold over your front leg. This can be a little challenging for the hamstring. And if that's the case, find a little bend in the knee. And continue to deepen your breath. Good, lift your chest, keep the left hand on the mat, reach your right arm up, twisting open to the right side. Good, then you have two options here. You can either shuffle the foot back like so, or you could lift the foot and sweep the leg back. Coming back to the balance, hold for a breath in, Exhale, lower the hand, lower the knee back to tabletop. Second side, extend your left leg back and up. Reach your right arm forwards. Get steady in the balance and hold it here. Lifting the arm, lifting the leg. Good, keep the leg lifted, but lower the right hand. Turn your body to open to the left side as you stack the hips. Reach your left arm up, finding a balance here to begin. Keep lifting the leg, press the floor away. Good, then staying as you are, lower the foot. Reach your left arm overhead, find a side body stretch. Beautiful. Lift the left side of the rib cage up. You can relax your head towards your right shoulder. Good, then lower the left hand, turn to face forwards. Lift the left leg once more and sweep the leg out to the left side. Bring the foot as far forwards as you can. And then heel toe the foot in between the hands, bend the knee on top of the ankle, reach your arms up, low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale here. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Lower the hands. Shuffle your front foot forwards to straighten the leg. And then you can bend the knee if you need to. Start to fold over 
the leg, bringing your belly towards your thigh. Good, lift the chest, keep your right hand on the mat, reach your left arm up, twist open to the left side. And then you have the option to heel toe the foot back or to lift the leg and sweep your leg all the way back, coming into a balance. Hold it here for a breath, inhale. Exhale, lower the hand, lower the knee, come back to tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, move back into downward facing dog. Start to pedal out the legs to begin. Give yourself a chance to ease into position. Good. And then looking in between the hands, take baby steps, walk the feet forwards, coming into forward fold. Start keeping a bend in the knees, take a hold of opposite elbow, and let's sway side to side here, ragdoll. Let your torso hang heavy. Let your head and neck completely relax. Great. Bend your knees, bring your fingertips to the mat. Then straighten the right leg. Keep the left hand on the mat. Reach your right arm up. Twist open to the right side. Opening the chest to the right side of your room. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lower the right hand. Bend your right knee as you straighten the left. And reach your left arm up. Inhale, twist open to the left side. Keeping the chest nice and open. With your exhale, come back through forward fold. Straightening both legs. Option to reach for the backs of the legs or the ankles to draw yourself in a little deeper. Bring your chin to your chest. Let the back of the neck lengthen and relax. Great. Bring your hands to your thighs. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to plank. Holding it here, push the floor away. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or lower the knees if you need to modify. Come down to your belly and bring the forearms to the mat for a gentle back bend, sphinx pose. Bring your chest forwards, roll your shoulders down the back. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands under the shoulders, press back, downward facing dog. Step your feet together and lift your left leg. Open out the hip. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale here. As you exhale, step the foot in between the hands and open out your back foot so toes face the side. Windmill your arms to come up. Find warrior two. Let your front knee stack on top of the ankle. Relax your shoulders down the back. Breathe steady here. Beautiful, turn your front hand so it faces up. Inhale, reach up, lean back. Reverse warrior. Exhale here. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, come back through warrior two. As you exhale, lower left hand inside the foot. Reach your right arm up. Open your chest to the side. Extended side angle. Good. 
With your next inhale, come back up through warrior two and then straight in the front leg. Turn your head, look forwards. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, lower the left hand down to the leg, reach your right arm up, keeping the chest open to the side for triangle. If you're feeling a little bit unsteady here, keep pressing through the feet, keep the legs straight and strong. Beautiful. Windmill the arms, rebend the front knee, come back to warrior two. Then straighten your front leg and turn your left foot so the toes face the side of the mat and bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forwards here. You can keep the hands on the hips or rest the hands on the mat. Settle in for the next five breaths here. Bring the hands back to the hips. Inhale, lift all the way up. Turn your left toes to face forwards, re-bend the knee. Lower the hands to frame your front foot and step back to plank. Pushing the floor away, hold it here for an inhale. As you exhale, take chaturanga or modify, come down to your belly. Keep the hands under the shoulders, inhale, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back for cobra. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Step the feet together. Lift your right leg high, open out the hip, inhale. Exhale. One more inhale here. As you exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Open out your back foot and windmill the arms to come up for warrior two. Stack your front knee over the ankle. Relax your shoulders down the back. Flip your front hand to face up. Inhale, reach up, lean back. Reverse warrior. Exhale here. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, come back to find warrior two. And exhale, lower right hand inside the foot. Reach your left arm up for your extended side angle. Keeping the chest nice and open, breathe steady. Good. With your inhale, come back up to warrior two. Then looking forwards, straight in your front leg. Inhale, reach forwards, lower the right hand down to the leg, reach your left arm up. Open the chest to the left side for your triangle pose. Beautiful, inhale, come back up, re-bend the front knee, lower the hands, and step back to plank. Hold for an inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down. This time roll onto the tops of the feet, press through the hands, lift the chest for upward facing dog. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. You can paddle out the legs, move in any way that feels good. And then looking in between the hands, start to step the feet forwards, then bring the feet as wide as your mat and turn the feet out. Bend your knees, sink the hips down. Coming into a yogi squat, malasana position. You can use the hands for a little bit of support here. You can bring hands into prayer, whichever feels best for you. And if you're feeling really stable, close the eyes. Start to slow things down for a few moments.
Wonderful. Lower your hands for support. Start to straighten out the legs. And then you can plant the hands, step the feet back into plank pose. Step the feet together here. And open out into side plank on the left. So you're stacking the legs, reaching right arm up. If you need to modify here, lower your left knee. Let's see if you can challenge yourself. Keep both legs lifted. Keep pressing the floor away. And breathing with me, inhale. Exhale. One more, hold it strong. With your exhale, lower your right hand down. Move straight into side plank on the right side, reaching the left arm up. If you need to modify, lower the right knee down. But challenge yourself and see where you can take it. Hold it there. And breathing together, inhale, exhale. Hold for one more breath in, exhale it out, lower the left hand down, find plank, and then lower your knees down. Great work. Bring your knees together, then cross the left knee in front of the right. Open the feet out as wide as the mat and then walk yourself back so you can sit back in the space between your legs. And you're looking to stack the knees here. You can either rest the hands on the knees like so, or if you'd like to join me in the full expression, bring your left arm around the back so the hand comes to the space between the shoulder blades and reach your right arm up and over so the hands draw towards one another. Don't worry if you don't quite clasp the hands, it doesn't need to be perfect. Find wherever is accessible and then soften the eyes closed here. Let's start to slow down the breath. Wonderful, release the hands. Then walk your hands forwards, rock forwards. Then sweep your left knee back behind the right, keeping the feet open to the edges of the mat. Walk yourself back so you can sit back. And again, you can just rest the hands on the knees or this time the right arm comes around the back, left arm comes up and over. Find where is accessible and then soften your eyes closed. Tune into your breath. Release the hold of the hands. This time place the hands behind you and sit back. Then uncross the legs, keep the knees bent, but ground the feet. Let the knees rock side to side, just a few times, mobilizing the hips. And bringing the knees back through center, walk your hands in a little closer towards your back and cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. Make sure that the foot is free to move as it likes to. And then start to push your chest closer towards the legs. And send the left knee away from your chest so you're getting some external rotation through the left side hip. Sitting up nice and tall here, hold a few more breaths. Good, now let your legs fall to the right side. Sit yourself up, you can bring the hands to the left knee just to 
Bring your chest in a little closer. Then hug the right arm around the left leg. Place your left hand behind you. And turn to gaze over your left shoulder. With your inhale, lift from the crown of your head. With your exhale, keep turning the head gaze over left shoulder. Beautiful. Turn the head to look forwards. Place the hands behind you and then lift the legs back up. Uncross the left ankle. This time cross your right ankle on top of your left knee, making sure that the foot is free to move. Then start to press your chest in close towards your legs and set the right knee away from you. Holding it here. Keeping the breath nice and steady. Okay, let the legs fall to the left side. Sit yourself up. Take a hold of the right knee as you bring yourself in a little closer to the legs. And wrapping left arm around the right leg. Place the right hand behind you. Gaze over your right shoulder. With an inhale, lift up from the crown of your head. And as you exhale, slowly twist to the right. Amazing. Turn to gaze forwards. Place the hands behind you, lift the legs, uncross the right ankle, and then come down to lie on your back, keeping the knees bent for now. Reach your arms by your side, and you want to just be able to reach for the backs of your heels. And press the heels into the ground, lift your hips, start to squeeze your glutes, and roll the shoulders under the back to lift the chest. Hold it here, steady your breath as we hold this more challenging pose. Staying with me, breathing through this challenge. Five more breaths here. Stay strong, lift the hips, lift the heart. Three more breaths. Two more. And with your next exhale, slowly roll down the back. Nice and gentle on the way down. And hug your knees into your chest. Take a gentle rock side to side, massage the back. And keeping the hands on the knees, open the knees as wide as your armpits. You have the option to stay here, or option to reach for the outsides of the feet for happy baby. You can stay in stillness here, or maybe you start to rock side to side, find what feels good. And taking any final movements here before we close this practice. And bring the knees together, hug them in close, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, extend the legs down the mat. Relax your arms either side the body and settle in for a shavasana. Let your whole body relax and melt into the ground.
Begin to deepen your breath. Bring awareness back to your space. Begin to move the fingers and toes, gradually waking up your body. Hug your knees into your chest, and then roll onto your side, taking as much time here as you need. When you're ready, come back up to a comfortable seat, keeping the eyes closed for now. And finishing the class the way we started it. Take a few moments here to soak in the effects of the practice. And say an internal thank you to yourself for showing up, for taking part in this challenge, and dedicating your time. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. I hope that you enjoy this challenge. Please let me know how it's going for you in the comment section below. And if you have any requests for other challenges that you would like to do, also please send me a message. I would love to hear any uh, requests that you have. Take care and I'll see you next time.